Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. Um, here today, uh, it's for, we're gonna go through what this thing, this unit came with. So I unboxed it already. I got air, I got power. As you can see, I got the unit on. So right out of the box, this unit is nicely packaged. It's, uh, it doesn't move in there, but you get your manual, um, your operating manual, your consumable guide, and uh, some other literature about the 45 XP. You get the 20 foot torch with this unit. Uh, this particular package had a 20 foot torch with it. You get a starter consumable kit, which has some bare necessities in there that you need to get this thing just up and running right away. Um, it's pretty nice, pretty nice addition. And your ground cable come with it. So everything's there that you need. All you need is an air source and uh, power. So then just to touch on this, this unit will do 230 or 460 three phase. So it's a it's a versatile unit. Let's get it hooked up on and then we'll get start cutting with it. So let's get our consumables loaded up in there. We'll just use the stuff that it came with right out of the box. So I'm gonna use a drag shield. Comes with two electrodes. That's your electrode. We use a nozzle, one of the cutting nozzles, not the gouging nozzle that this thing comes with. Um, retaining cap and swirl ring. So we're going to put these all together. So this unit goes on. Like that, like that, like that. Then you retain it. Now it's important to make this thing seat. As you can see, it's got a little sensor right there. I'll take that back off and just show a close up of it. See the sensor right there? It's to make sure that this cap, this retaining cap, is all the way on. So there it's all the way on. Then we're going to put the drag shield on. Covers the nozzle, completes the system. We're all set up, we're ready to cut. We'll give it a shot here. It's pretty simple. So we're gonna cut with this unit, but, but first before we do that, I disconnected the air. So in this bundle package, we get this air filtration kit. So let's take a, let's take a look at this. So I'll open it up, I'll install it. It's, um, it's a pretty nice unit. So inside the kit, Operation manual, get some extra air fittings, and here's the actual filter kit. So it's pretty large, it goes on the back side of the unit. The only thing I noticed that didn't come with this kit was thread tape, which not a big deal. We got some here, we're gonna just we're gonna hook it up. But to first show you this, so the green bubble indicates life of your internal filter cartridge. So, and it has a directional arrow on it, so which way the air is flowing. So you want to have that pointed in towards the machine. So right, air flowing in towards the machine. But to just go over the first thing, you just pull down, twist, and this thing comes off. This is how you're going to change out that filter. You just grab that, you give it a little bit of twist, and it, it's just a slip fit with an O-ring up in there. Pretty simple. And then this unit, all I did was just twist it. It loosens right up, comes right out. Now this is the cartridge that I was talking about. I think right now online they're about $59 replacement cartridge. But this, that little bubble will indicate when this life is over. So put this all back together here. And I'll put some thread tape on. We'll hook it up to our machine. Make sure that's properly seated all the way in there. And this is a self-drain model. so. Self drains all the moisture out. On this unit, just to give a quick rundown, so we got that iron nipple back installed. So we'll hook it back up. So on this unit, it came it comes with an air separator on the back so most people though 
And I'll tell you this, everyone thinks, oh, well, I, my air's not dirty. I don't have a lot of compressed, you know, I don't run a lot of compressed air. I don't have a huge system. That's not true. Most compressed air units contain moisture and it sucks in dirt. So what you're doing, it, mainly moisture, it's keeping the moisture out of the system. So this, the unit on the, the actual air separator, air cleaner on the back of the unit is just there for protection for the internal components. But Hypertherm recommends you put this unit on there just for a fail safe to extra clean your air from moisture before it enters the pre-filter and gets through your system. It's just a uh, fail safe unit, but I would recommend it. Like I said, I, if anybody had ever dealt with compressed air, uh, you have to drain the tank every so often. I don't use compressed air a lot in my shop, but I drain the tank and I'll tell you what, water comes out every time I use it. So it's just a, a good, good addition to have for the and plus we're throwing it in a bundle so it's actually a really good size on it. Let's uh let's try the let's get the cut in here. Alright, so now we're ready to cut with this unit. I just got it at set at 45 amps. Um, I mean you can go down or up. But today what steel I have with me, I got my ground hooked up. So I got three eighths, I got half inch, and I got seven eighths. So we got a good variety. Um, home hobby, I can't imagine going over half inch maybe um, it, like I said it'll sever inch and an eighth and it's recommended for five eighths and seven eighths to cut um, I got some aluminum and I got quarter inch eighth inch I got some quarter inch aluminum and uh, we'll give it all a shot see how it cuts so first I'm gonna cut the three eighths plate and then we'll work our way up from there so even really a challenge for that thing it's a cuts really really nice so I didn't know if you noticed but after I got done cutting the air still was flowing um, so a little trick that you can do after you're done cutting is just tap the trigger and the airflow will shut off just a little trick you know uh, just to keep the compressor wear down that kind of thing um, or if you don't have a big compressor these things eat a lot of air so it conserves air let's hop over to the half inch piece give this thing a shot Not the, I got a little shaky on that cut, but not too bad. A little bit of dross on the bottom. Uh, not too horrible though. Pretty nice clean cut for, for half inch, that ain't bad. So let's try, let's get up to the seven eighths. Now, it's recommended 10 inches a minute at seven eighths. So a little bit slower, but it says it'll do it. So let's give it a shot. So that was on three quarter inch steel. Like I said, between five eighths and seven eighths, but recommended five eighths, 20 inches a minute, seven eighths, 10 inches a minute. So this is right in the middle of those two. I went pretty slow, but still did it. Made a nice clean cut on there. So pretty impressive little unit. Now I just got, I want to come in and look for close at the, I just got the drag shield on there and a little bit of consumable wear, not too bad. But that drag shield allowed me to put the, shield right against the plate and then drag it right against the plate so I didn't have to hover above it I just put the shield right on there and drag pretty nice little uh, feature of that that drag shield but other than that real nice unit so let's try uh, cutting some of this quarter inch angle this aluminum and uh, see how it does the ground here.
a little bit jagged towards the peak, but not too bad. Look at that, right, right through that little one. Real nice cut. Um, pretty amazing on that. Um, another little piece of flat aluminum. We'll give this thing a shot here. Pretty nice cut on there too. I'm just going through different sizes, different things, just giving you a good example of what kind of cut quality you're going to get. Let's try the quarter inch steel. Now, on that quarter inch, I mean, went right through it like nothing. That's, that's nice. That's a nice unit. So, I don't know what you guys are cutting out there. If you want to leave in the comment section what you guys are cutting, uh, maybe we can bring some different pieces in try it out but uh, I was just trying to grab some stuff that home hobby people would usually do so this is eighth inch let's give this a shot so it went right through real nice cut now I might have too high amperage on that um, we could probably turn it down a little bit but just for all intents and purposes so all in all, I mean, it, the unit's great. I mean, we got good airflow cut through everything that we put it up against. Well, if there's anything you want to see, like I said, leave in the comment section. It will do stainless, um, and I don't have any with me, but maybe we'll have to bring some out next time. Go back to the bundle package. We'll go over some of the uh, specials we have going on in this unit. Um, so, and just to kind of give it, a, a lot of questions come up. What do I need? Do I need a 45? Do I need a 30 air? Do I need a 65? So the 45 is right in the middle of those. The 30 will cut up up to, it'll sever up to half inch, recommended 3 eighths. The 45 XP, like I said, 5 eighths, 7 eighths is recommended. And then the 65 is one inch recommended. So if you're gonna be you know, doing heavier steel all the time, 65 might be the way to go. Or if you're gonna do lighter lighter gauge material all the time, 30 might be the way to go. But another big difference that is a deciding factor for a lot of people, the 65 is only input power of 230 up to 460. This one is 230 or 463 phase also. And then the 30 air is 120 or 230. So kind of some differences on voltage input, that kind of thing. Um, but it's all up to you on what what you think. I mean, you can read the spec sheet on all these units. I mean, this unit is just a good middle of the road. Um, obviously, you saw what it cut. It does a lot of cool things. I mean, it's it's an amazing little machine for what you get. So once again, the machine is $1,980 on bakersgas.com. In this bundle package, though, like I said, for you get a $340 value for. $299. So you get a cover, fine cut consumables, and the air separator, the air filter. Um, but that's a $340 value for $299. This is $1980, so $1980. I'm gonna throw a promo code out there, PMX45. You're gonna get another $10 off the bundle package. So it's gonna drop it down to $289 now on the, to add on to this unit. I think that's a pretty good deal. Now, what else do I recommend? is the consumable kit. Right now they're half off at makersgas.com. I recommend it and I'll tell you why I recommend it because as you open it up, it is the PowerMax 45 XP consumable kit. If you open it up, it gives you all your part numbers, everything for reordering purposes, that kind of thing. And it lays everything out in a nice little case. It gives you all your consumables that you're gonna need, cutting and gouging, all your electrodes, retaining cab, extra, extra swirl ring. So like I said, gives you all the part numbers. Great value, uh, right now $104 on bakersgas.com. So once again, PMX45 is the promo code. Thanks again for watching, stay tuned for more videos. Um, once we get this all wrapped up, I'm actually gonna do a video on the circle cutting guide. So thanks again for watching, stay tuned.